Hi friends, welcome to my day in the life. So I just woke up at about 10 a.m. and now on my absolutely cluttered desk, I'm just looking for some bathing soap. So now I'm going to the bathroom to have a shower. After feeling fresh and dry, I return to my room and my accommodation has some motion sensors where the light will automatically turn on whenever I open a door towards the central hallway. I go in my room clean as day. At about 11 a.m. after showering, I'm now going into the kitchen for some breakfast. In this accommodation, we basically have a big kitchen, but there are like 10 students like sharing inside this big kitchen and we have cupboards for each of us in the kitchen. And essentially, this is my personal cupboard. So over here, I'm just eating some cereal as for usual. I always eat cereal for breakfast. And after breakfast, I'm now just gonna get changed to go outside. Let's go. There are many doors inside my accommodation. Like the reason for that is also because of fire safety and all that. And that is why in each of our rooms, we actually have a fire door. We can't actually leave it open. It will automatically close by itself. So actually like we can't actually bring any door stopper or anything like that. And I have my key card to open all of the doors in my accommodation to go outside. Now this is Edinburgh. This is literally a five minutes walk from my university campus. Now you can say a lot of things about Edinburgh and I might agree with you in some way. Edinburgh might have some garbage here and there on the road and all that but if you say that Edinburgh is not beautiful, that is something I would strongly disagree. And now I'm about to get started with some work. This is a super big project which I actually have to do. This project is a super long project in Java and I'm actually doing this in IntelliJ IDE which is basically a very famous like Java IDE. And essentially, this thing which I'm doing is basically making some sort of drone which delivers pizzas to students who ordered it. And we basically have to retrieve like data from a JSON file and all that. So we basically have to know JSON and all that. And it's very complicated. Now I'm about in the finishing process of it. So I'm just writing some comments out. So to write like java.comments, what you do is just basically put a slash with two stars and you can like write any comment you want essentially. And I'm basically making a comment for each class essentially. And, and there's also HTML file, which I've ran just to make sure that each class has a comment on it essentially. And now I've gotten a bit bored. So I'm playing some Temple Run. After my long session of Temple Run, I now have another work to do. This is basically an engineering work which I have to do. I slide in my chair to my desk to start my work. The thing which I'm holding is an FPGA board. It's just some kind of electronic board essentially. And I'm basically connecting that to my computer via a USB type B cable to a USB type A. And that's how the board looks like essentially. The board has a display of numbers and I can also turn off the board which just turns off the whole circuit essentially. And I can turn it back on as well. So I now plug in the USB type A cable which is connected to the board into my computer and I put on my earphones as always whenever I'm studying to listen to some Spotify 1980s music. So basically the thing which I'm doing right now is basically making some output on the board. What I have to do right now is try and connect electronic board to my computer and basically the app which I'm using right now is called Vivado 2015.2 which is just some kind of app which basically works with this board essentially. I'm trying to get some output on this board. So what I'm doing right now is just trying to connect my board to my laptop, but it's giving me some error which I don't understand. But anyways, I open an SDK, which is basically a software development kit. And essentially in my SDK, I have C code, which is used to program that board. And some of the C code actually like makes sense, but some of the functions are just completely electronical kind of words which only like the board will understand essentially. It's all like pretty complex. And after that, I am now looking at the task which I have using an app called TickTick. -tick. Now I'm thinking of making a video about this app called TickTick. -tick. Basically, this is quite a useful app for like organizing like tasks which you have any day. So I'm just showing you an example right now. If I have a task tomorrow, and I want to get some groceries, I'll just put get some groceries from Little and I can put like a specific time and all that. And it would remind me on that specific time essentially. So the the reason why I use this app because there's a lot of things which I which I need to do, but I can't always remember that. So this app just basically organizes everything for me essentially. Like there's a lot of events which you'll have when you go to university and a lot of the events and stuff like that will also be coming to your email. And most of the time I was just like ignore all of the emails which are optional to me because I know I won't remember 
to like go to that event and stuff like that. But like since I found this app, it just keeps me organized to go to all the events that I want to in university, gently. So it's much easier to like keep track of everything. And I put some nice messages on the app just to keep me happy, gently. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.